Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. Today I want to talk to you about my laser. This is the Thunder Laser Aurora 8. It's the 100 watt fiber laser and it's the MOPA. I want to jump right into it, tell you a little bit about it. So this is one of the machines that I've been the most excited for this year to get and use and integrate into my business. It's been an absolute game changer. As far as a review goes, I know this is a spoiler alert, this thing has been fantastic and a awesome, awesome addition to the shop. When I first got it, kind of go back in time here because I've actually had this a year. So going back in time, the first day I got it, it was in a giant crate, packaged extremely well. Shipping was quick, no problems at all. Easy delivery, it's surprisingly heavy for how big it is. So make sure you have a nice base if you're gonna get one of these. I think it's around 250, 275 pounds for the, for the unit. So I ended up building my own metal table, had enough rigidity to, to have it. It doesn't move around or anything, but pretty stout. So extremely industrial quality, heavy duty build on this thing. So I'll drop in a photo here of when I received it the first day. Since that time, I have put this thing through its paces. I mean, I have really dove into uh, engraving so many different materials, so many different processes, depth maps, 3D engraves, really, really cool stuff. And I'm gonna show you some of that uh, in, coming up in the video. So kind of my experience with Thunder, in full clarity, they sent me this machine. My review is not based on that, obviously. I, I've, I've had it a year. I waited a year because I really wanted to do a true in-depth review uh, before I would sign off on something. It's actually exceeded my expectations for how nice this machine was. I've seen other lasers, been around other lasers, and the build quality of this one versus the other ones is outstanding. It really, really has exceeded everything that I thought it would do. So let's jump into some other stuff, then I'll show you some of the materials and some of the projects that I've done. All right, I just wanted to bring you in and show you some of the materials that you can actually do with this machine. So you can do stainless steel tumblers, stainless steel bottle openers, plant markers, basically any kind of stainless steel, any kind of metal really. But let me just show you some examples here. So aluminum tins and business cards, and you can achieve, it's a little hard to show on camera, but these are silver. That line and this logo are white on the aluminum business cards. And there's other colors you can even achieve with the MOPA on stainless and uh, titanium. These are depth maps. And you can see the detail that you get on these. And it's kind of 3D, really, really cool. Let me show you this Popeye one. So you can go super duper deep, depending on, this is one millimeter deep, depending on how much time you want to invest in the laser engraving. Here's some machine shop tags that I made. And you can see quite a bit of relief there. And I love these old style brass tags that you would see on machines, like this one with the serial number and date. Also, I've been able to engrave on plastic, mark plastic. So like my ear pod case here. And then I found out you could actually engrave on 3D printed uh, plastic. So this was one of the first tests I did. You can achieve white on black. This is matte PLA. Very happy when I learned that. This opens up a whole different world of projects. They also offer a ton of laser ready projects on Amazon. So these are hat patches. So I got the machine shop, got my dad's channel, and then I got Trogdor, the Burninator. This is just a little sampling. But anything metal can be done. Lots of different plastics can be done. And, uh, oh, I wanted to show you this as well. So I was doing some rust removal with the laser. And uh, pretty wild how it cleans it. These are all different products, options you can do. And then, of course, I do my pens. So here's a, one of the pens, one and a half of a pen. And I'll show you some complete ones at the end of the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through basically how I would start out with a project. I'm gonna make a little plant uh, marker for my dad's channel. And uh, so here's how I would do it. You open it up, throw it on. Now you need to hit the on button to actually turn it on. You see how the light goes solid? All right, and then here's your lights. So it's got about four different uh, settings and then off. And then autofocus. So you just bring it over here. All right, so I have the artwork here, and then this line that you see here is a tool path. So that's how we're gonna frame it. So I'll show you here. We'll go ahead and hit, click the frame button. All right, this is where the on-off lights really come in handy. You can frame your, 
piece and use the red diode to line it up really, really straight. And uh, it's, the uh, lights really help for that. So now I can bring it back up that I've got it lined up and we'll go ahead and fire it. All right, and then just for a safety check, what you can do is turn that off, turn the framing of the toolpath off and just frame the artwork itself. Let me turn the light back off so you can actually see it. Looks good, looks like it's where we wanna be. All right, we'll kick the lights back on, bring this down, and we'll go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it run real time just so you guys see. Uh, basically, this glass protects you so you don't have to wear glasses outside, which is really, really nice for laser, especially if kids or other people working in the shop with you. Um, it's just nice to have that extra level of safety. You can hear the fans kicking on right now. That's the uh, exhaust fans. And so uh, anything that would be potentially harmful will be getting sucked out. This is stainless, probably not anything to worry about, but it's a nice added feature. All right, it chimes off after it's done. One thing that I do want to show you, I'll bring you over here, is that this light turns green when it's ready to go. When it's not uh, ready to open this door, those lights remain red. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And when you do like stainless, so it has a little bit of the uh, brown on there. I just take my finger and clean it up. It's very, very impressive how clean of an engraving this is. I think you can see it there. All right, let me show you some other stuff. I'm set up to do this leatherette uh, hat patch, but I wanted to show you one of the features. If you're gonna do something that's actually gonna smell really bad or potentially produce some noxious fumes, uh, you can press this fan button and give it a few seconds for it to spin up. And it'll start pulling the exhaust before you start the program. Because typically if you just start it normal, it takes you know 10 seconds for that inline fan to get rolling, for it to suck through here. You can hear now probably that fan has started. So I'll go ahead and close it up. And then we'll go ahead and do it. And it's nice because it, uh, <laughs> it already gets that air flowing out through the exhaust and you're not going to get a ton of that smell into your workshop or into your house or wherever you're going to run this thing and uh you can see here how fast it actually engraves these leatherette patches so this is my first test with this new artwork um so we need to do, do a little tweak to get it just perfect but these things are cheap and make really cool hat patches ready to install. I want to tell you about some of the safety features. Obviously lasers bouncing around the shop are not a great option. So they have built in the enclosure with the laser safety glass, uh, which is awesome. It also has switches here that when disengaged will make the laser. So if you lift this up, the laser will not work. These panels are removable. So if you have a long workpiece to go in here, I'll drop a picture and show you when I was working on a shovel. And uh, that is really nice because you can still have the safety glass in place. Um, lasers are not a toy to be messed with. You know, you do not want them going in your eyes. So the other thing you don't want is a bunch of fumes in your lungs. So they have built in here, here, and here. There's exhaust ports. And basically they come out the back and then go through an inline fan. And then I've got it piped out the window. Um, there's other options that you can do, but I think this is probably the easiest, especially during winter time. If you're not using it, this is a simple way that you can uh, pull it off so the cold air is not coming into the machine. One of the keys to this laser being so user friendly is that it uses Lightburn software. So you want to get the EasyCAD 2 edition. Lightburn is phenomenal, even for a dinosaur like me, as far as computer and designing in, in the computer works. Super easy to figure out.
I was up and running day one. It, it was a big help to have Lightburn. Lightburn is fantastic. And that was what drove me towards this particular machine. Because I've had previous experience with Lightburn, I knew how, how good it was. I wanted that capability in this machine. Now this machine comes with one lens, but you can buy different lenses. The lens that comes on the machine gives you a four by four engrave area, but you can buy different size lenses. And for example, this is a 290 millimeter lens, and that will give you almost a 12 by 12 work area. Using different lenses can give you all different kinds of effects. One thing that's awesome about this laser is there are so many adjustable variables that when you first start, it's a little confusing, but as you get into dialing it in, it really opens up of the material world as far as like how many different materials it can do. So swapping out, having a, a few different lenses, which I would highly suggest having a couple different lenses, really can either give you high power, like intense power for a smaller uh, work area lens, or it gives, with switching to the bigger lens, gives you the ability to do a lot bigger of a surface area. One of the things that I ended up acquiring with the machine is their rotary. And this rotary is fantastic. It has angle marks, so you can do things on angle. You can pivot it so it goes straight up. I do it use mostly for pens uh, or round things. So the chuck, the three jaw chuck has been essential. It's so nice that it's already set up for the rotary. It's one button click and light burn and you're ready to go. It's fantastic. And I am extremely impressed with the quality of this particular rotary. I've had previous lasers with rotaries. None of them compare to the quality uh, that this one has. One of the absolute best features on this machine is the autofocus. If you've ever used a fiber laser that has a manual crank and you have to use some sort of jig or you do some sort of measurement, Man, this is so much faster. What an upgrade. Let me show you how it works here. So like, say I have this coin plate. I just hit the button. This is your autofocus laser. This is the center of the actual fiber laser. So that has now focused on that thickness of material. So here's another chunk of brass. Want to change quickly. And now it's autofocused on that. So uh, this is a quarter inch. This is half inch. And you can see how quickly it goes between the two. Obviously, if you have something even taller, let me see if I can do it here, it will raise all the way up. And you get this laser, even though it looks low here, has a ton of clearance all the way up. And you'll see, I'll bring you in here and show you how far up this can actually go. So if you look here, the red dot on top of that brass, that's what we are focused on. And you can see up in there, it actually still has more room for the head of the laser to go up, but great. Great design by Thunder. One of the biggest things when you're looking into lasers is customer service. Um, so Thunder Laser has US-based customer service, which is huge. You don't have to wait 12 hours to get a response like other laser companies. They're based in Texas and you will receive your uh, customer service very rapidly. So I've emailed them twice, even though I had a deal going with Thunder. I would email them from a separate uh, email that they didn't know that I had. So it was not traceable to me because I wanted to see what the customer service was like. The first email I sent them back, uh, I sent them, I got a response back in four minutes. It was unbelievable. And then several months later, I had a question about something with the laser. Uh, when I was setting up new lenses, I emailed them after hours, which was impressive, six minutes back. So. All the customer service that I received from them has been absolutely fantastic and fast, which is awesome. I hate waiting around for customer service to give me an answer to something. They also have a huge manual that are you print with the machine. And then they also have tons of FAQ on their website where you can go and look up all different stuff. They're really uh, well documented. All right, I kind of went over all the things I love about this machine. Let's talk about some of the cons. The biggest con most likely is the cost. The cost is, it's, it's expensive. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of get what you pay for with machines like this. So uh, the cost is steep, but I think it's worth it. Um, I really do. So the other con is it's heavy. It is a heavy duty machine. So if you're a person of smaller stature or just uh, maybe don't have the means for lifting something that's around 300 pounds, that could be a con. Uh, I think I 
personally enjoy a machine that's very heavy duty, very industrial. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm not a small person by any means. Uh, but I can see where a smaller person would have some issues with lifting this machine. It's, uh, it, you're definitely going to need some help. That's really all I could think of for cons. Uh, it has performed. It has really performed for me. It has made, it's paid for itself at least one and a half times in the year that I've owned it. Some of the things that have happened with since I'm owning the laser, I have increased my business because I've been able to come out with new custom designs so much faster. I've been able to offer personalization and I've come up with a bunch of new products. Out of every machine in my shop, I would say that this is the machine that generates the most money, at least the most efficient generation of money uh, would be this machine for sure, with the least amount of input from me. You know, no, no turning cranks or, or welding or, uh, it's it's really nice having a robot in the shop. You know, that's what I always say it's like a robot uh, doing its work while I'm doing something else over on the on the welding table, over on the lathe. It's amazing how much money that this thing can um, generate just with its capabilities. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video. I know I really don't normally do tool reviews. Uh, I feel like I've given you my best pitch uh, for not sales pitch, but pitch about the real usage of this machine. And um, and after having it for a year, it's been awesome. I think, I think that uh, it's a worthwhile purchase if you are in the market for something like this. So uh, go check them out, thunderlaserusa.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll try my best to answer them. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day.